At that point, I already didn't have symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis, and I also had a lot of multiple chronic diseases that came either together with it or from medications that I used to take. So there was a lot. I used to be on 17 different medications. Wow. At that time, I lost my hair at some point because I used to take cancer medications, steroids, all sorts of things. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, it was really rough on my body. And in 2018, I was inspired once more to go raw. And it was very unusual to me because it, it was, again, this, you know, inspiration. It came from my heart. It was not the pressure from outside. It was simply the experience of life. I came home from a farmer's market with my son, and I started cooking those beautiful vegetables that I got. And the color just vanished from them. And so I all of a sudden got this download that I should eat for color. I should eat for this beautiful freshness for this water in the fruits and vegetables and so it just turned my life around like <laughs> completely and yeah I went through overnight and I felt great I felt even better than when I was vegan mm -hmm. so I got more energy my body movement improved even more so I became more flexible I started getting into cycling so I got interested back in life and it was an amazing experience and then I found out that actually we can also do a juice fasting so go if I may say a level up and yeah. see what happens next yeah and I'm a very curious person and I'm try all the healing techniques all the natural healing techniques and methods that I come across and see how that feels and raw vegan really resonated with me, with my body, with my energy. And when I came across juicing, it it just changed my life even further. Uh, yeah, day yeah. 270, right? Yes. And oh, wow. in January 2021, I got super sick. And at that time, I was eating mostly raw. And I was surprised because I, it, I didn't know where it came from. I knew that it couldn't really come from my food mm -hmm. because it was still more clean than most of the vegan food. But I started feeling, you know, very weak. My skin became pale. I had difficulties breathing. And after a month, I found out that at the workplace where I was at that time, we had the growth of mold everywhere. And wow. I got infected with mold so I almost died I I was in bed for seven days I easy thank god you're okay geez yes and it that experience experience shook me to the bottom of my heart it was like okay wake up you gotta go raw again you really gotta do it completely 100% because look how vulnerable the body becomes when already there is energy not flowing properly so I I healed myself with juicing at that time I didn't even go to a doctor you know I didn't even want, want to deal with the whole thing of taking you know blood work and everything because I already knew what was happening with me and I already got my detoxification certification by yeah. that time so I was like okay I'm gonna heal myself but then the next thing that happened is in August I felt all of a sudden I felt a lot of pain in my lower abdomen and I thought it was an ovary. I just wanted to know what was going on. I didn't, I had no idea. And they ran ultrasound and turned out that I had a eight centimeter tumor in my uterus. Wow. So it's, it's the size of a large bell pepper, you can say, or a mango. Pretty so, big. Like that's big. It, it was big. I actually could see it through, you know, through my my belly it was actually visible. And it was, I was not surprised, Jillian, though. You know, I was not surprised at all because I already knew, you know, sleeping back to eating cooked, being exposed to mold. So there were a lot of toxins already in my body, you know. Wow. And then what? 
So then they suggested you do surgery, right? To remove it, obviously. But yes. you didn't get surgery. You didn't want to have surgery to remove it. You decided to embark on juicing instead. Yes, that, of course. <laughs> it was totally surreal to be at the doctor's office and hear her saying that, you know, oh, you look very healthy. I do not know why you have it. And so she went over the options that I had. First, she asked me if I was done with having children because I'm almost 40. So she asked that question and I said, no, I would love to have more children. So she goes, okay, so we wanted to offer you a hysterectomy, basically taking the whole uterus out, wow. which puts a, a woman into menopause immediately. Wow. It's, it's, it's not a gentle procedure procedure to have so it definitely their first option for this kind of scenario of it uh, uterine fibroids and then the mm -hmm. second option that they offered me was myomectomy which is taking out just the fibroid but they still can't save the whole uterus they still would need to take a part of it and stitch it and try to put it back together mm -hmm. and they, there would be no guarantee that wow. I would have children. So it's it's a Russian roulette, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and I'm not, I was not willing to play that. So. No. And uh, moreover, I already knew. So to me, it was really revealing this experience that when the doctor said, we don't know the cause for this, I just chuckled slightly in my heart and I... I smiled and I said, okay, thank you so much for all the information you gave me. Also, she told me that before myomectomy, they would have to put me on very strong hormones wow. that would shrink the fibroid and somewhat, so basically a couple of centimeters, a couple of inches, but that would also put me in the state of menopause Wow! and then yeah. they would do the surgery. <laughs> so... To me, obviously, those options wouldn't work. And I asked her to get back to her after a couple of months. And so, yeah, I just went home. And <laughs> at that time, I my juicer part was broken. And I was waiting for it to come to my mail for the replacement part. And the morning it came, I said, yes, I'm going to juice fast. So what's the status now? Do you still have the tumor in any way, shape or form? Or did it go away completely? Or how long did it take to see results? Or what is going on? <laughs> so yeah, a lot of people are curious about this. When I went to a doctor in April, I finally got the tumor reduced three centimeters down. Wow. So it was a lot. So it basically from the size of a mango to the size of like a lemon. Yeah, you know, and it was a lot. And they called me and they told me that surgery was no longer needed. Wow. Because it keeps reducing, it keeps going down. And they, yeah, they just, they didn't ask anything because now I start finding out that they can't by law. So they're very tied up, you know, by, the, by what they can say and what they yeah. cannot. And I understand that. So you feel confident you chose the right path and then it'll be completely gone, I guess, at one point. Yes, 